Hi, State Representative Russ Diamond, and we're here today with Warren Wolfert, who is the president of MIA Plastics, located in the Lebanon Valley Business Park in South Lebanon Township. Warren, thank you so much for opening up your doors to us today. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of your company and, and what kind of products you make? Sure. So uh, MIA Plastics actually was founded in France in the 50s and uh, started in the injection molding and then grew up into the blow molding is what we actually make now here. And then uh, in 2001, we had a product that we actually made um, in France for a French company that also had a manufacturing here in, in the United States. And uh, that's actually the partnership started here and brought us over here. And then since then, we built uh, this facility here in 2007 and we've been growing ever since. And how large is your facility here? So it's about 80,000 square foot. Okay. And we have about uh, 50 employees. Okay. Yeah. 50 employees. Yeah. Yeah. And what kind of skill levels do you look for when, when you're looking to hire people? So, so it, it all really depends, but it goes to where we have people, you know, moving pallets and, and, and mm -hmm. doing, you know, just uh, operator wise. And then we have higher scales of people that do maintenance and uh, mold setups and uh, starting machines and uh, quality, quality management. Where, uh, so it really all depends on the skills that we need, but uh, yeah. Okay, and, and what sort of products do you actually manufacture? So here? we actually manufacture, well here, for example, here, this there is a bottle go. here that we actually manufacture right here. It's a oil bottle for, and that goes into the, the stores where you actually go and have your oil change. So oh, okay. Can, for example, that actually goes to Walmart, and that, you know, you go and you take your car and have your oil change okay. at Walmart. Well, those are the so they'll put the used oil in that, yeah. and then... And no, they actually put the, 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 the oil in there. Oh, the and new oil, okay, okay, okay. And dispose it. Uh, okay, I they see. They usually have uh, something else for used oil. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so. excellent, yeah. excellent. And, the, and uh, I saw out front, uh, you, you manufacture some things for, the, for food? We do food. food so we food do uh, yogurt. Uh, we are in the yogurt uh, bottles. Um, I sure brought some here. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, we have all different sizes for yogurt, drinkable yogurts. That's a big business of ours. Uh -huh. um, so that actually is going to get moved to a Canadian facility that we're building right now. Okay. And uh, because we have a customer that is based over there. I see. And then we're going to move that production over there. But we have new production coming for yogurt business okay. that will arrive uh, towards mid of next year. So this is not the only facility for MEA Plastics? No, not in, uh, in North America is the only one. Okay. Uh, now we'll have a second one one in Canada, and then we have about 10 in Europe. So Warren, I, I do know that you folks make these planters here mm -hmm. uh, at MIA Plastics. Can you tell us about some of the other products that you make as well? Sure. So what I was talking about uh, was uh, those uh, yogurt bottles here that we make for Yoplait General Mills. Uh, so then we have different sizes. Um, they go from uh, a 93 millimeters to 250 millimeters. Okay. So uh, we make those. Um, this is for actually a dialysis uh, type of product. Okay. That they actually clean up the, the dialysis machines. Um, and then we do uh, toners. We do um, um, all different kind of products here in blow molding. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit about the challenges? Um, uh, and the difference is sometimes if you're not working on a food grade product, mm -hmm. uh, th there might be something that you don't do with, w with some of these other products. Can you tell about the challenges of working in the food industry and creating that packaging? Well, the challenge is really to uh, how, how do you make sure that your product is going to be clean and right. staying, you know, so that your customer is not going to have any issues coming to that. So, so that's really where you have to use all the ingredients that you're using for those bottles have to be FDA approved, mm -hmm. and then in how you manage it and how you make sure that everything is actually made right. in the way that it's supposed to be done. So, so that's really the more challenging. And then we have uh, all kind of audits that come in place with it because of that, mm -hmm. uh, which we don't really do on the industrial side. Right, right, right. So, uh, it, where are you looking? at now to grow your business? So the, 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 so we are really separate in two different business where we have our food type of business mm -hmm. and then we have the industrial part of business. So do we have one you know, that we want to develop more than the other? Not really, no. Uh, what, what we really want to do is, you know, what is a good fit for us? Uh, it, it's either way side, it doesn't really matter. We, we are more in uh, high quantity size of products. We make about 120 millions of those a year. Wow! Uh, just to give you an idea, uh, so so this is really the way we are set up on, on the how we we product we produce it. So uh, if somebody comes and wants to make 20 planners, it's not really our business. You mm -hmm. know, our business is really high quality. Right, right, and right. That's right, our right. expertise is um, because it's totally and you'll see it. It's totally automated. You have very few people working on the lines because it's automated from the A to Z. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about? 
I always like to talk about the people of mm -hmm. Lebanon County. And can you tell us about their work ethic versus work ethic that you might find in some other areas of the country? We have people that have been here for a very long time. Um, and we had a great relationship with them. You know, I, I, it's just some, when we try to grow and have newer people, that's where we have difficulty okay. finding people. Okay. So it takes us a while. There are good people out there. Right. We Is there anything else that you want the people of Lebanon County to know about MIA Plastics and, and what your mission is and, and, and um, you know, what your goals are here? Well, our goal was always to, well, to grow, and, but to take care of our people. You know, we are uh, a small company. You know, nobody is ever better than anybody else mm -hmm. here. And we try to treat the people the same way, you know, that I want to be treated. Right. And I tell the people when they start here, you know, I'm not going to ask you to do anything that I wouldn't want to do. And, and that's basically, you know, the, the, my mission from day one. And try to make it the best place, you know, that, you know, that they come and leave and go back home the same way they came in the morning. You know, right. so safety is very important for us. Right. Well, thank you so much, Warren, uh, for, for joining us this morning, for inviting us into your plant. It's always a great pleasure to talk to another employer in Lebanon County. Okay, very good.